firstly, I was going to apologise for my very rudimentary primary school style television screen here, uh, but it is a working screen. So welcome, everybody. Uh, I did this, uh, but ultimately it's better than me just talking. It's a little visual aid, hopefully. Um, so first of all, uh, let me just try and make myself uh, big so I can see myself a little bit bigger. Would that help? Maybe not. Um, first of all, we've covered some of the things here, but what is a fungus? This is a, a very famous one that I'll come to shortly that may, many of you may uh, be familiar with. Um, I don't know if I mentioned the video, but fungi are actually a kingdom of their own. Um, so you've got your animal kingdom, plant kingdom. and But it wasn't until uh, the 60s that they realised that, that scientists actually put them in their own and realised they were completely separate from plants and animals. Um, in fact, it was the year that uh, man went on the moon. So whenever I hear that, I think, ah, also when fungi became a kingdom. So that's something to bear in mind. Uh, let's have a little look. Uh, what is a mushroom? I didn't really notice clock that, I don't want to repeat myself, that would be a shame, but a mushroom itself is just the fruiting body of a fungus. The fungus is an underground network that's there potentially, theoretically, all year round. Uh, that, that like as a white cotton wool kind of fluffy state that it looks like. And that's the hyphae, that's the uh, mycorrhizal um, uh, uh, part of the fungus itself. What we see as mushrooms are just the fruiting body, uh, a little bit like, so if I press you on, um, oh, just to clear this one up, if because uh, fungus and fungi, some people get mistaken, this one's for like my mother, this, that's a fungus, uh, and if I've got more than one, I've got fungi, it's just a plural thing, but a little, a little bit like my mum shouts at the TV if people say H instead of H, if people say the wrong thing about fungus, it can get people's go. Um, so yeah, the analogy for, for a fungus, uh, a mushroom or a toadstool or any fruiting body uh, is that it's a little bit like the apple on a tree. Uh, the tree being the fungus itself is underground all year round. Um, and it's just the fruiting body. They're designed like any uh, organism that wants to survive to reproduce. So that's the reproductive body. Uh, so a little bit like an apple on a tree, which is why picking a mushroom, generally speaking, certainly for educational purposes, is not detrimental to the fungus. That carries on underground all the time. It's just it's a little the same way that an apple wouldn't be detrimental to choose that from the uh, the tree. So the, here is your your fungus underground. Here's your fruiting body. All right. Uh, in terms of the fruiting body, we've seen some beautiful pictures there. Here's my little drawings of them. But you don't just get mushrooms, and this is what I love about fungi. We've got corals and earth tongues and cups and balls and earth stars and brackets, uh, and that's just a selection of these incredible fruit bodies. Um, that make, for me, uh, fungi so special. Just to walk anywhere, because it's not just woodland, to walk anywhere, walk to work, and I might find something like this that gets me very excited. Um, so uh, we'll talk a little bit more about some of those later. Uh, a quick quiz, I think. Let's, let's, let's like a bit like an icebreaker. You may have heard some of these incredible names of fungi over the years. Oh, someone's excited. Thanks, Helen. <laughs> so I guess everybody, uh, a little game. So I'm going to show you, we've got lots of unusual names, King Alfred's Cakes, the Penny Bun, you would have heard these. I'm going to show you some. If you think it's true, thumbs up, okay? If you think it's false, thumbs down. All right, a couple of seconds for each. First of all, the Cabbage Parachute. True or false? Three, two, one. What do you think? It is true. It's a true one. Okay, the Cabbage Parachute. Oh, people look very excited. It's working. Okay, next one. The mouse pea pink gill, true or false? Got some down, yeah, I can, I can see. Oh, mainly false, one true. True, also true. Okay, mouse pea pink gill. I've never found it. Apparently it does smell of mouse pea. There you go. Uh, there's, there's a reason. Okay. The vicar's nose puff. <laughs> I'm challenging you now. I'm challenging you now. Okay, I've got trues out. I've got a good mix now. Yeah, okay. All right, that one's false. That was false. That's just me having a nice time. Okay. Oh, a couple more. The octopus stink horn. True or false? Oh, you guys know this. Yeah. Okay. That's a true one. That's what we just saw at the end. Those devil's fingers. That's its other name. The octopus stink horn. That's that last one we saw. Um, the shaggy nightgown. Let's have a look. Oh, it's good because it's we're just, yeah, I've got a good mix of both. Mainly true. False is the answer to that one. No, that was me playing around. All right. Last one. Here we go. Okay. Hairy Nuts Disco. What do you think? I've got I've got two thumbs, three down. Three, 
two, one, and the answer is true. That's a real, a real fungus. The hairy nuts disco. Disco is short for disco my seat, and it's a tiny little cup that uh, breaks down beech nuts. So there you go, the hairy nuts uh, disco. Um, let's have a look what's next. So there's some of the crazy names and another reason to fall in love um, with, with fungi, as far as I'm concerned. Um, okay. Uh, what do fungi do? Look, we've covered that um, in the video really already, but they do have three essential roles, just to summarize it. You've got the friend, you've got the recycler, and you've got the killer. It, rough, broadly speaking, the friend are all those mushrooms that have a mycorrhizal relationship. Those ones, that symbiotic one, where they grow and can only grow if their host tree is in the vicinity. So Fiona, your penny bun you mentioned earlier, mycorrhizal. Uh, and I'll mention the trees you can find that with later. Um, many, many fungi can only be found if that tree, host tree or shrub is nearby. Then you've got the recyclers. They're so crucial in so many ways because they are our soil magicians. Uh, someone calls them agents of decay. And if it weren't for them every autumn, literally as we opened our door, we'd be up to, you know, we'd have to swim to work in leaves. We'd be up to our absolute chins. Uh, and the last one, of course, is the killer, a parasitical fungi. So those that parasite either other fungi or that usually more often plants and trees. And the honey fungus, again, that got to mention that little video there, the honey fungus as gardeners, I imagine they're on your radar because they're well known for being the one that you wouldn't want to start to get hold of any trees in your garden. Only usually takes out weakened trees and it can take a very long time to happen. Um, but yeah, the honey fungus is a parasite, but as Fiona mentioned, also edible. Um, let's have a little look then. Um, quick mention of this guy. I'm gonna presume that maybe some of you, because you're all muted, I'll not ask who knows the name, um, but it's the fly agaric, uh, the Latin being Amanita muscaria. Uh, there's a lot of folklore around this mushroom. In fact, Got it here. I had a quick run round in the car uh, to hopefully try and pick up a few fungi, and I managed to find one. So there it is. There's our Amanita muscaria. Got here. Uh, where the fungi grow? Um, the, the short answer is everywhere. Um, if we're talking about fruit bodies, the type that we've discussed already here, um, they're all over the place. I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed my rides to work for years. I cycle to work. It's a good 10 mile ride from where I am. And I'm talking about one of the major roads in Manchester, grass verges. Over all the years, I'd learned the different trees and I'd see these certain fungi at different times of year. And the amount that you can find just on a roadside verge, people's gardens, of course. Um, there's very specific habitats for certain fungi I've mentioned. Ultimately, the best place, or no, that's not, yeah, maybe the best place for diversity uh, are ancient woodlands. At the moment, this is the tail end of the season proper. Fungi grow all the year round. Lots of people think it's just autumn time. It's their boom period, but fungi with us all the year round. Um, but this is the tail end of the, the season, mycorrhizal certainly. But there's one type of fungus um, that grows in unimproved grasslands, cemeteries, graveyards, places that haven't been um, uh, mass farmed, industrialized or used any fertilizer, chemical fertilizers. They're very intolerant of it. Guys, thanks Hi. very much. Thank you very much, Ellie. Thank you.